Redford, I had a really great collaboration with, I have to say. But I had a lot of time with him before we started shooting the movie. So I never thought we'd hit it off like that. We really, we got along great. Maybe because we're so different in some ways, but I'd love to work with him again. And he liked working with, I mean, we just got along really, really well. The only, th only difference I had with him was, was he cut a big scene of mine. And I still think it was a mistake. And I was very upset about it. I, I think the film would have been more balanced that way. That's the only thing. But I, I, I adored working with him. Is it sometimes a big surprise, if not a shock, to see what the final cut? Yeah. It's sometimes, most times it's tremendously disappointing. Tremendously disappointing, most times except for with certain people. A lot of times I see it and I go, well, what happened? Like that, everything's gone and, you know. Uh, but with other people, it's very close to what you imagined and better. Very close and, and, and better. But uh, that's been a handful. And that's why you don't have that much control. Because they can take, I know, I've been in an editing room. I know what happens. So, uh, also, sometimes you think, wow, I wonder if they really got everything I was doing, if they really studied it, how, how many times did they look at it? Because taste is everything. It's everything. So, some of the certain movies I don't like because I don't like the taste of the director. It's not my taste. Or, it's not that it has to be my taste. I, I think there's a lack of taste in it. So I don't, I don't like it. So when they're making a select, depends upon what the person needs for the scene and what their taste is. So uh, it's, it can be, uh, I try to forget about it now. I used to, but like I did a mini series uh, where I played Billy Martin and I would watch all the footage. I watched all the footage back and I gave all my notes to the script supervisor so the editor could have it if they wanted to know what I thought. And when I d saw it and I didn't like something, they showed me a rough cut and I said, well, you know, I gave a couple notes to things, and one thing I want to put back in, uh, and they did. But I, th I wonder if the editor ever looked at my notes because they were very, very uh, uh, intensive. Of like, I like that little moment there, and this, that. And when I saw it, they edited it really well, what I did. And that you're almost more naked because you have less time to, to cover the scene up because you're shooting faster when you shoot a miniseries for television. But uh, I really felt I, I was in the vicinity of what I was trying to do. And do you feel if you don't like what you see at the end result, do you feel it's a complete waste of your time or does it process? Well, sometimes you can see something and say, well, I did good work within, the, within the, the confines of what we did. And you have to be happy knowing how much time you had to prepare, how much time you had to shoot. Other times you, you have all this stuff and you watch it and you go, that doesn't mean anything to me. You know, it really, there's a lot of movies I've made, not a lot, but a handful, I go, well, that doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't mean anything to me. It, it, I tried, I'm not a maybe, but it doesn't make me feel like I, I did something great. I mean, I did a movie like Mr. Deeds. I don't think it's a great movie, but people like, but I'm very happy with what I did in the movie. Uh, I, I think I did something creative in it, and, uh, and people really makes people laugh. So I was like, I'm happy. Now, is it that my kind of movie overall? I think it's, you know, it's okay. It's cute. It's a sweet movie. No, it's not my kind of movie overall. But I like what I got to do in it. You know what I mean? And so that's good. And I like Adam. And Adam is a good guy. And he's a friend of mine. And I like him as a person. And, uh, but it's a different sensibility than my sensibility. You know what I mean? Saying... When I work with Joel and Ethan, that's not my exact sensibility. But they're so fastidious that when you see it, you're like, you're really seeing someone's view of life. And I, I really, I admire that. And I'm very appreciative to be a part of that.